Okay, so before we get going on everything, I have to talk about what it means to have basic computer skills. And you think that this would be obvious, but I've learned over, the, over time mentoring one people one-on-one -on -one that it's actually not. So I'm going to just summarize these, these individual items in this kind of overview format right now. And then you can decide if you want to drill down and get details about each one of these bullet points. So the first one is you need to learn how to really type. I mean, really type, like touch type. Um, you need to get a computer that you can modify, that you have admin access to. I have taught so many classes where the people that were in the class did not have the ability to install software because they weren't giving it to their parents because they didn't trust their kid. Install and learn the best web browser. What is the best web browser? Stay tuned and check in for that, and we'll talk about what the best web browser is for work specifically. You need to be able to create a free ProtonMail account. In my opinion, if I were mentoring you, I would tell you you need a ProtonMail account or you can't be with me. Uh, I have a separate video about why I believe ProtonMail is the one true email provider. You can disagree with me and that's fine, but if, you, if I was mentoring you, I would require it. Uh, you need to have a Gmail account and a Google and YouTube and all that. Uh, because you want to be able to use YouTube, but more importantly, so you can have multiple Gmail accounts that are not being used for anything private, which can all go to the same place. So you can have multiple test accounts like GitHub, for example, and have them all mapped to the same Gmail address, which is then forwarded to your centralized Proton account. You need to have the ability to set up multiple Gmail accounts, as I mentioned, which has got a video. And then you need to learn how to write notes. You need to be able to document your learning. That does not necessarily have to be any particular way, but we will talk about Markdown and HTML and YAML and other methods for documenting your learning. But if you don't have the ability, specifically, you need a GitHub account. You need a GitHub account. You need a private notes repo at the least. You probably need a lab repo also where you can put your code book in. A code book is a place where you put your code that you write so that you create your own textbook that you can go back and refer to later as a way to practice your skills. This is all stuff that you maintain, that you own, that you don't have to ask permission to use. You don't have to subscribe. You just have GitHub, right? And you, you have to have GitHub, period, if you're going to be a technologist today. You need to develop search-centric user interface habits. You need to, you need to know what Alt-Tab means. You need to know how to use the search-centric commands of your system, whether it's Mac or Windows or Linux. You need to get used to using that because it will save you a tremendous amount of time compared to digging down through menus in, you know, whatever your favorite, um, you know, desktop interface is. And it also completely negates the argument about your desktop interface. If you don't have search centric abilities in your desktop interface, then you're doing it wrong, in my opinion, because you're wasting time unnecessarily um, by learning whatever their navigation system is. Um, you need to learn how to scan and read books quickly, whether it's a book or it's a piece of technology. We're going to, uh, um, you know, like Kindle or something like that, or a web page. Uh, later on, far later on in the beginner boost, we're going to talk about using text based web browsing without a web browser so that you can actually find things as fast as possible. And you will be able to scan and get answers to your questions in seconds that take people using graphic browsers minutes. And that I guarantee you, if you have not seen me do this, this is the number one thing people ask me, how are you doing this magic? Knowing how to do text-based research from the command line is one of the most powerful things you can learn to enable your ability to get answers quickly, which is a fundamental skill in the, in the, in the area of technology. Um, you'll learn to use AI assistance like ChatGPT from the command line as fast as possible and supplement your learning by doing that um, and getting answers from AI, but backing them up with answer hits that come from DuckDuckGo and Google, all done from the command line. These are all basic computer skills. Um, the, the searching from the command line is, is more advanced and we will talk about that later, but, but knowing how to do those searches um, using a web browser first 
um, is sort of fundamental to being able to say, okay, now let's do that same thing, but let's do it from the command line. And let's also have like a command line history of all of our searches that we can query at any given moment with Vim bindings, for example. These are all, uh, I consider these to be basic computer skills. Um, you'll notice I did not say that you need to be able to install your own hardware and your own operating system. You will need to do that, but that's not basic and that will be covered in uh, the Linux module that we talk about in the beginner boost. So that is meant, this has been meant to be an overview of the basic computer skills, and there will be videos that you can drill down on each of those.